several studies in uh, uh, the last years uh, have shown the importance of gut microbiome. So these studies have shown uh, that uh, uh, at birth, uh, uh, the neonate is already colonized by different kind of bacteria, and that uh, uh, colonization uh, is uh, extremely relevant in the first years of life uh, with an influence of several factors, including diet and uh, infectious pathogens. At the beginning, uh, the attention was mainly paid to gut microbiota. But then studies in these last years have shown also the importance of respiratory microbiota. These data have shown that uh, specific uh, characteristics of gut microbiome are associated with a specific type of respiratory microbiome. On the other hand, there are studies showing that the microbiome in the nose, in the mouth, and in the tongue uh, is different. So the pathogens that we can detect in the different sites are not the same. This is an important point because uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, the studies in the healthy population, it was possible to analyze uh, even children with uh, recurrent respiratory infections or with chronic disorders. Interesting studies uh, uh, have detected the uh, microbiome that characterize children with recurrent acute otitis media, and there are also other studies that have evaluated uh, uh, the specific characteristics uh, uh, of uh, uh, lung microbiome uh, in a healthy population or in the population of children with underlying diseases, including, for example, cystic fibrosis or asthma. And if we consider, uh, anyway, uh, this kind of diseases, we can understand that, that there is a possibility to use uh, respiratory um, probiotic therapy at the moment uh, in order to reduce uh, uh, the risk of recurrent infections. There are specific studies uh, on uh, uh, Streptococcus salivarius 24MB that have demonstrated the possibility to administer this nasal or oral uh, probiotic in order to modify the colonization of uh, the upper respiratory tract and to reduce the risk of recurrent infections. I think that uh, uh, these data are really interesting because uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, these studies, it, it has been possible to demonstrate the possibility to reduce respiratory recurrences uh, uh, with uh, uh, a modification of the microbiome of uh, the upper respiratory tract.